Dover come into this one having won their opening game with an impressive win against Notts County, but following that, four losses, conceding 14 goals in those four games. The most recent two against Torquay, five against Aldershot before that. And it's come through to Reese Murphy, who's got a chance here on his left. He goes for it, and it's a fantastic finish from Reese Murphy. Murphy cut in from the right hand side there and with a sweeping finish on his yeah, well, left foot 1-0 to Yeovil, 9 minutes in Your preparation was again destroyed Your preparation It's a very, not makeshift but different back through you've got because Staunton obviously he's played midfield more when for Halifax but he's played both midfield and defence for Yeovil so far Skendy is mainly been playing midfield as here comes quickly with a shooting chance and gets it away on his left foot but Tom Smith is there to save Tom Smith there signed last week from Arsenal along with Bailey Spencer Adams the central defender on loan from Watford Warburton with a shooting chance and goes for it and it was bending Murphy really looks in the mood today and Diaz with space, he's going to go for the shot, goes for it, and Smith has to parry, but he gets the follow-up. He'll be hoping to beat the first man, Cumberbatch here. He does. Comes to Smith, and he's come to Murphy, who hits the volley. It was a scrappy goal, but Reese Murphy was there to volley that in. He was just in the right place at the right time. Half an hour in, it's 2-0 to Yeovil. At the top, Warburton's going to chase this. Ratton can only clear as far as Lawson Diaz. Cumberbatch keeps one in despite protest from Yeovil. Now Munns with space. Prasley on the right. Dickinson step forward there. Prasley with space to shoot. Goes for the cross. Finds Collins in so much space. And it's a goal for Dover. He was completely left unmarked. And Dover have got one back completely against the run of play. Matt Adam Smith just organising Gabby Rogers and Lawson Diaz in that wall. Comes to... And it's been bundled in by Louis Collins again in a very similar position. Reese Murphy was there to clear, but he just scuffed the ball and Louis Collins again. It's two all here. On a, trying to disrupt the young keeper, Tom Smith, I think. So D have to take. Staunton looked to win it at the near post, but it comes as far as Cumberbatch, who couldn't clear. And it's a good effort from Gabby Rogers, who fired that really quickly. And it was good reactions from Tom Smith. So the two teams are back out now for this second half. I think Yeovil will just be wondering what on earth happened in that last sort of seven minutes or so. Where it was all Yeovil that first half, but they completely switched off there in the second half. It was a, the most dominant we've seen Yeovil all season. It's 2 0 up, Murphy with both goals. And 2 all now as we kick off here. And it comes to Quigley, he turns and shoots, and good save from Smith, and Ledbitter just can't quite get it back in. So Dover now with a got back into this game. Who I think everyone will be in the Yeovil camp will be very confused as how that happened. But they just need to stay switched on. So maybe missing Luke Wilkinson, Lee Collins, Warburton making a really good run there down the left hand side. And Rogers finds him, plays it in, and there's Murphy who just can't quite make it. And it's a corner for Yeovil. Really good movement from Warburton there. He's going to play the corner quickly Rogers in it's cleared Ledbitter back in and Yeovil want another corner but it stayed in for Rogers Warburton thought about the shot or the cross his Ledbitter who ships it in there's Quigley who's completely unmarked Dover are stood motionless and it's Joe Quigley with his first goal in green and white. 3-2.
Here's Ratton, who finds Collins really well, and Smith has come a long way and does really well there. Dover appealing for a handball. It looked like it just hit the side of his leg as Murphy hasn't quite happened for them yet as Reese Murphy tries to hold it up, but tackled well by Marvelette Pateta. And Cumberbatch tries to win out on Diaz, but Diaz does really well as Munns goes in for a strong tackle there. Didn't look like the best of tackles, but Warburton's here on the right-hand side. And it's cleared well. And here comes Diaz going for the shot. And it's deflected. And well saved. Yeovil's wing back's really pressing very high there. As Dan Ledbitter was one of Yeovil's furthest forward players. But they've got to make sure they track back here. As Cumberbatch has a lot of space to run into. Finds Pasley. He looks for Collins. who plays it back. And it's a goal for Dover. It, Collins got something on it, but I think someone else got a touch on it. And Yeovil are fuming because it looked like a second player got it on the line. It's three all here at Hewish Park. Dickinson again is screaming at the linesman. I'm not quite sure who got the goal, but Collins played it across the goal. And I think it was TJ Bramble at the far post. Ledbitter and Adam Smith obviously going up for this and it's gone long, Staunton won that and it's punched clear eventually by Tom Smith. Charlie Lee again with a fantastic ball, Staunton wins and it's a good save from Tom Smith on his debut for Dover. It was sort of behind him but he did well to claw it out and it was a good opportunity for Yeovil there. It certainly was, Dover somehow about to hook the ball out the net. Josh Thornton does really well there to get the, I think within about three or four Dover players, but somehow wins the header and Yeovil just seem, can't get that final ball over the line. He's looked threatening, Staunton, as the ball's played in. There is Staunton and it just goes wide. And both teams will be desperate for a place in that first round next, in the next few weeks. Staunton plays it back in and it goes right across the face of goal. Good tackle, well, the ref says no good tackle. It looked like Worthington just got the ball but tripped him in the process. And now Dover with a free kick, very centrally, but it's, this is going to be the last play of the game and you really hope nothing disastrous is going to happen here, Sam. It would be thoroughly, thoroughly harsh on Yeovil Town if Dover had to snatch one here. But um, a little bit harsh on Matt Worthington there. Maybe he shouldn't really be going into, in the back of him at this later stage. But say it's going to be an interesting final play now. We've had the four minutes. And it's going to be Jack Munns to take this free kick. All Yeovil players back three in the wall. They've just got to maintain their concentration. And it's cleared well by Dickinson. And that's full time. Just took it instantly. And it's Reese Murphy to take the last one for Yeovil. Murphy, Yeovil's penalty taker from last season. He's going to take this one against Tom Smith, the 18 year old in goal. It's the final penalty of the, the normal five for Yeovil. Here's Murphy stepping up, takes. And Smith got a hand to it, but it was so powerful that he couldn't do anything about it. And now the pressure is on for goal scorer TJ Bramble, 19-year-old. He has to score this. If he misses this, then Yeovil win and go into the first round. If he scores, we're going to sudden death. A flawless penalty shootout. Here's TJ Bramble. Slow run up. Takes. And look, made it look so effortless, TJ Bramble. And we're going to sudden death. And Ryan Burks running up very enthusiastically for this one. He looks very keen. The substitute, the young Irish left back on loan from Birmingham. Steps up to take this one against another youngster in Tom Smith. Now, young left back stepping up here. In sudden death here. Takes and it's a straight down the middle. Good penalty there. No nonsense. 
And it's now Stephen Rigg for Dover. Rigg only scored once last season from striker for Dover in 30 league games. So the first game he hadn't started this season. And he's here to level it in sudden death. There's still no penalties missed yet. As Adam Smith makes it look big and goes the wrong way. And Smith isn't happy that he's gone the wrong way again. Matt Worthington now to take this one. Matt Worthington, the substitute midfielder, looking to continue this immaculate penalty shootout from an attacking point of view. No goalkeeper saves or misses as of yet. Worthington takes and it's a really good penalty as Smith di Tom Smith dived the right way but just didn't quite have enough on it. Didn't quite, it was too accurate from Matt Worthington, a really good penalty. And here comes Marshall Ratton, 20 year old Dover Academy prospect to take this one. Adam Smith really wasn't happy that he didn't save the last one. He's wants to save one. Here's Ratton to take it, and it's saved by Adam Smith. And Yeovil Town are through to the first round of the FA Cup. Marshall Ratton with a decent penalty, but it was a really good save there from Adam Smith, who went the right way, and with a really good save there to make it. I think, believe it was 7-6 at the end of that penalty shootout. Obviously a crazy game in normal time there. Three all with Yeovil going 2-0 up. Then Dover getting it back to 2 all just before half time. But then 3-2 up to Yeovil and then 3 all and then this penalty shootout. It was a crazy game, Sam. Thank you very much for joining me on this uh, co-commentary, on this mental game. I think mental is the best way to describe it. That was utterly unbelievable. What a game of football we've just witnessed. And um, say Adam Smith the here at the end there. Yeah, Adam Smith was a really good game, to be honest. And you could tell he really wanted to save one in that penalty shootout. But thank you very much for tuning in, despite the technical difficulties. And the next game you'll see at Hewish Park will be Sutton on Tuesday night. And I do hope you join us there. Thank you very much for tuning in.